What's going on guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my new Jeep that I got. Now yes, as you guys know in the last video, I showed you guys this Jeep right here, the 2006 LJ. And this Jeep did replace my white TJ that I sold. That was my first car, I loved that thing. But it had to go because I wanted something that rode better, and this did. But an opportunity came up for me to get another LJ, which I'll show you guys here in a second. So as you guys know, in the first video that I made with the LJ, which was the last video, I put the old parts from my TJ on it, like the bumper, the winch, the headlights, and some of the stuff on the inside. I swapped all that from my white TJ that I sold to this Jeep. And of course, I took all that off to put on my new Jeep, which I have not done yet. But this Jeep is all back to stock now. I just have to grab all of my personal stuff out of the inside. And then I also just have to take out the taillights because these are still the LED ones. And then I also have to take off my TerraFlex steering stabilizer because the new Jeep that I got that I'm gonna show you guys has an old one on it. I think it's like the factory one. So I'm gonna swap them so then that one has a new steering stabilizer. And with this LJ, as you guys know, it is rust free. Uh, there's really no rust on it on the frame and stuff. It's very clean. The grill does have a lot of rock chips. I was just planning on getting it repainted at some point. In the inside here, the biggest problem with this Jeep, besides the mileage, is if we take a look in here, which we already glued a little bit, as you can see, to kind of hide it, there is rust all along the windshield frame. So it's gonna have to get replaced, um, the whole windshield frame. The windshield's good, but it would probably have to get a new windshield to just get like the whole assembly. And that could be kind of expensive. I didn't really look into it much. I'm not sure how much it would be to do that, but that was something that I was gonna have to get done because as you can see right here, it's kind of starting to go through the body so it's definitely not good and it's definitely gonna have to get replaced and of course this LJ being an 06 it has 223,000 miles it does have a check engine light right now still I got to throw the O2 sensors in it that I bought that's all the code was so that's gonna be fixed here just in time for me to sell it this Jeep does have a rebuilt motor it only has a couple thousand miles on the rebuild we have no information about the trans though have no clue if that was rebuilt at all but I mean other than the trans and the windshield frame this thing is super, super clean. And the trans work perfect, I should mention that. Uh, it shifts through all the gears nice and smooth. So maybe it was rebuilt, maybe it wasn't, not too sure, but it works fine. So really the windshield frame is the only issue with this Jeep at the moment. So now I'm gonna show you guys the new Jeep, which is this basket case. And let me tell you guys, the transformation that this thing is gonna go through is gonna be absolutely insane. I'm gonna make it nice and I'm gonna keep this one forever, hopefully. This one is definitely going to be a keeper. So I'm gonna roll a quick montage for you guys of what this Jeep looks like in detail. I only accept whatever smell for me. We ain't going half, we going all way. Um, stay ten toes, gotta keep the fan close. Yeah, that's up, that yeah, we know. I've been riding, I've been rolling on this road for a long time. I've been out here getting on my own for a long time. How you supposed to get it in this world if you don't try? If you want the greatness, it's gonna take you a long time. Don't happen overnight If we miss success, it takes some grinding oversight Got about 10 years in it, can't fake that with photo likes Better not waste no time, young Montana, that world is mine I got it in my palm, call it young, yeah, young Don This beat, I slide on, new crown without So the reason why I got this Jeep is mainly the fact that it's very clean I mean, put my finger in there, buttery smooth, right? It rides really good, so I hear. I haven't had any driving time with it besides pulling it in the driveway, but yes, I know it is an absolute mess. I'm gonna get that all taken care of, but look at this mileage, guys. It's an 05 with 73,141 miles, which is very hard to find. So because this Jeep has 73,000 original miles, it's relatively rust free. I mean, there is a few spots on like the hood and stuff and on the body that I'm going to fix a few of them. It does have rust on the bumper, as you can see. There's no major rust on it. That's what I'm going to say. A lot of it you won't see because I'm going to cover up and a lot of it I'm going to fix, but I'll get into what I'm going to do to this LJ here in a little bit. So that's why I bought this Jeep. Unlike the silver LJ here, which has 200,000 miles on a rebuilt motor, this one has 73,000 miles. I mean, that 4.0 could go to 300,000 possibly. So it's really a no-brainer to me to sell this LJ and drive around this one. So now I'm going to go over what's wrong with this Jeep. Starting up front, the hood needs to be repainted. The clear coat is all chipping, as you can see. I'm trying to find a spot where it's noticeable. 
you can kind of see it right here it's really rough and there's rough spots starting everywhere so I'm gonna get the hood repainted it needs the trim rings right here which I got I'm gonna throw my new front bumper on it it obviously needs a good cleaning there is dust and everything all over the place and the body looks trashed but it's really not a lot of it's gonna come off I'm gonna get it buffed real nice and make the black look new hopefully this fender right here is all smushed in uh, we're gonna have to pop that out a little bit I am planning on getting new fenders in the future and then it does need the flares installed but they're sitting right over here and I'm gonna have to paint those because if I come over here you can see that they are absolutely trashed in different colors this one's brown this one's like almost green this one's a light gray and this one is like a black color with some scuffs but uh, yeah I'm gonna have to throw those on and get those repainted I'm gonna paint them with the same paint that I painted these fenders on this LJ because these fenders actually look the same as those when we first got this Jeep and they look new now it looks really good so I'm gonna use the same paint it's like a bed liner so it's gonna be real durable so yeah I'm gonna throw those fenders on it needs new wheels and tires because that is poor fitment right there I'm gonna end up putting bigger tires on this Jeep these are a 225 60 r16 i'm not sure what that translate to like inches but i'm gonna put 33s on it to start which will probably be these tires these are yokohama geolander all terrains these are like a 32 i believe and it's the same size rim as those a 16 inch so i'm gonna throw these on right away and uh, just that'll get me by and not make me look like an absolute hobo with this size tire but in the future I am going to get 33s again just a good cleaning is gonna go a long way probably gonna get whole new door handles right here I don't think paint is gonna hold up well right there so I'm just gonna get new ones it might need a back seat I don't know I'm not sure if I'm gonna get a back seat yet I kind of like the truck bed kind of look to it I feel like it could be pretty useful for me I'm not sure yet it does need a extremely good cleaning up here oh I just noticed it has a crack that's the first TJ I've owned that has a crack kind of bummed about that whatever um happens a lot but in the interior here it needs a good cleaning and it needs new seats because this Jeep sat outside this past winter with a tarp over it with no top so it needs new seats they smell they're disgusting gonna have to find some but it needs new seats and that's really it for the interior besides a good cleaning then if I come to the back here it needs a new tailgate this one's blue and the Jeep is black and if this one's all beat up and stuff I actually already got a new tailgate ready it should be painted by now and then I'm also getting new hinges for it and that's really it for what's wrong with it as you guys can tell I think this Jeep is going to work out very well for me and it's a great platform and I cannot wait until it's done and to see the transformation that has taken place. So now I'm going to show you guys the assortment of parts that I got for this thing. It does have an oil leak. It needs a new oil pan gasket which I got right here and then rear main seal is right there. Got the headlight trim rings right there that I'm going to install. Again, oil pan skid plate. That's brand new. I actually think it already has one on there too, which it does. So got an extra one. Those are the new fenders that I'm going to repaint new tires. I got one rear inner fender liner because I think it's that one that doesn't have it, the passenger side. Oh, they both don't have it. Oh, well, I'm gonna have to get another one of those or I might just leave it off. I don't know. Uh, I got the carpet for the inside. I don't know if I'm gonna put it in. I may just respray everything with bed liner at least the back half if i decide to do no back seat just to make it look all fresh and new but i really don't know definitely comment down below what you guys think i had no carpet in my first white tj and i loved it i had black bed liner and it worked great for me so i might do that again not sure yet about that and then i got a new soft top right here i gotta put that on got the whole structure for it right here just sitting so yeah, that's pretty much everything that's wrong with it and that we have to do to it right away. Uh, again, a good wash is going to go a long way. And then I just need to touch up a few spots here and there like the hood. And I mean, other than that, just putting everything that's over there on is going to go a long way. And then after that, I'm going to put all my old parts from my original Jeep that were on this LJ on this LJ. So then it's going to be looking basically how that one was in the last video so i know you guys are probably curious as to what i'm going to do to this black 05 lj as for upgrades i'm actually going to keep that a secret 
I think that if I tell you guys now, some people will be like, oh, that's not going to look good because it hasn't been done a ton. There are a few Jeeps that I follow that are pretty similarly built, but I have big plans for this Jeep and I think that I just want to keep it a secret for now so that it's this big surprise once it's all done. Now I am going to film it as I go. I think that's pretty important. So in the next video, it will probably be like repainting the fenders and stuff like that, mounting the tires on, uh, stuff like that. going to be installing the top here soon so i forgot to tell you guys probably the most important part about this jeep so let's go out in the garage and do that really quick all right so it's late at night here i'm just editing the video and i completely forgot to tell you guys what this jeep already has on it let me go to the wide angle there i forgot to tell you guys what this jeep has on it and i also forgot to tell you something pretty important about this jeep that could affect the resale value in the future if i were to sell it which i'm not going to but i'm gonna start off by saying what is on this jeep already so it's got some cheap shocks on it when i went to film the montage for this video it actually rides really stiff um it's really rough at low speed it still goes straight and all which is my main concern it just bounces around a lot i'm not really sure why maybe the shocks need to be replaced maybe it just needs new springs so i may look into that in the future i'm not sure if the springs are stock or not and then it does have this puck lift on it right now so maybe Maybe that affects the stiffness i'm not too sure um i did forget to mention that it's missing another visor so i'm gonna have to buy one of those but yeah besides the small puck lift and the shocks that's the only thing that lj has upgraded on it right now if you would call that an upgrade but the big thing about this jeep is that it does have a salvage title it's really not that big of a deal though in my opinion because it's from a flood down in tennessee and everything mechanically and electronically on this jeep works like it's from the factories so it's really not that big of a deal to me personally so yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave it a like share the other so i can grow my channel and with that i will see you guys in the next video